What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are liking these Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials and plugin videos, please drop a like. Pixel Film Studios is a great place to find these plugins, whether you're trying to edit music videos with the tracking plugin, or if you're creating titles with the titles pack. Use my coupon code KINGPIXELPRO for an extra discount at checkout. Pixel Film Studios is also doing a huge giveaway to three lucky winners. The giveaway consists of a Blackmagic 6K Pocket Cinema Camera, a Sony A7R4, and a Panasonic Lumix One, all valued at $10,000. But wait, that's not all. Two other lucky winners will get the chance to win a Sennheiser Wireless G4 microphone and a Zoom F1 microphone. All you have to do to enter is like, comment, and share Pixel Film Studios on your social accounts, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for frequent video tutorials for Final Cut Pro 10 for free. So be sure to check out the giveaway and the playlist. All information will be linked down in the description of this video. Now let's get started. guys so this is going to be the plugin that we're going to be reviewing in today's video and that's going to be the final cut pro 10 slideshow from pixel film studios uh, in in this update the july 2020 update it does now include the film so you can see that this uh has the that kind of film real like layout effect and it's really cool it's like a template that you guys can use if you scroll down you can see what the slideshow includes so you have like um the camera lens here so what you want to do is you want to go into the transitions and here you will see the transitions that you can use so we have the Final Cut Pro 10 slideshow and you have about 31 transitions here that you can use and customize. So in order to actually use this plugin, you're gonna to have to go to the titles and generators over here on the top left, Final Cut Pro 10 slideshow, and you're gonna have a bunch of slideshow titles here. And you're gonna have the generators, which is the actual plugin where you can actually put in photos. And you have a lot of different type of templates and different types of themes. So what I'm gonna do first and just show you how to use it you have the drop zones so what you do is you drag this onto your timeline here and once you do that you're going to go into this little button here right here which says the drop zone so it's very simple just make sure you go back to the project settings and click on the drop zone and select any of the pictures that you want to use as the first one so i'm going to select that one and i'm going to go down okay it looks good i'm gonna click on apply clip and now once you are here you can do a whole bunch of stuff so in the media controls this is where you can change a bunch of the settings. So you can do the, you can change the media scale and it also gives you this kind of mirror like effect on the edges. So it looks a lot more seamless. So you can create a, a little point, a starting point with your keyframe and then you can go to the end and just, you know, make this bigger. So when if I, so now if I go back and push play, you can see what that looks like. Looks really, really cool. And you have the camera controls. So you can change the angle of the view. And you have overlay controls. So you can change the blur amount here. So the edges will have a slight blur depending on the amount that, you've, that you can control here. So we have slideshow classic prints. We have 2D and you also have 3D backdrop. So if I were to drag this one here and I'm gonna click on okay. And you have the edit text option as well. But you have a whole bunch of settings here and I'm just gonna show you how to do it as simple as possible. So we're gonna go into the project settings here and i would suggest you have a whole bunch of photos right you probably have like 200 photos maybe or maybe 100 uh, whatever the case may be what you want to do first is scroll all the way down to the first drop zone so drop zone one and you want to start selecting your images so select that one so if you click on the edit mode button here you can see the um the points here where you can actually change these the uh, animation indicators so you can see the green is going to start here and then the midpoint is around this point right here yellow and then end point is where it's going to end, which is at the very end, of course. So you can control all of that, set all of those settings there. And if we scroll down, you can change the camera control. So you can change the angle view. You can have it go further away or a little bit closer to the camera. You can change the position of this, right? And you can change the dolly amount, which is the full, uh, the you know, how close it is to the actual camera or the lens. All right, so in order to actually adjust the um, placement of the images once you've added this, all you're going to do is go to the drop zone controls and the text controls. So we're going to be focusing on this first one here, which is the drop zone one. You have X and Y positions, so we can control the X axis. And this is going to be for the full, like, uh, the full frame here with the print overlay. You can also do the same thing by clicking on the on-screen controls and dragging them. So you can drag this up a little bit more if you wanted to, or in case one is blocking another image. So let's say this one is, we want to show a little bit more of that one. We can do that. 
Maybe we can drag this one, move it to the left a little bit more. You can do something like that. So this is where you can actually adjust the uh, placement of the image and we can move this up or down. And you have frame crop. So you can crop this a little bit more if you wanted to or make it wider. And you can also change the frame color. So you can do like yellow or whatever you want. And to edit the text over here in the text inspector, if I hit the next arrow, you're going to see that it's highlighting on this first drop zone. So if we were to change this to Jacob Owens, you can do something like that. And let's say we want to change this one here. Just hit the next arrow button until you see the, the uh, image that's being highlighted. So I think it's going to be this one. So we can do the same thing on this one. Jacob Owens. There you go. We're going to be doing the film one. And this is the new one that came out with the uh, July uh, 2020 update, which is this month. All you got to do is drag one of these on top of a background and image uh, of some sort, which I added here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go on to the uh, clip here and select it. In order to start, all you have to do is go to the first drop zone, which I've already showed you, but it's very simple to scroll down until you find drop zone one, select this, and then you want to go to your project properties where you have all of your images. I'm going to select the first one here. It's going to be that one. I'm going to select the second image, which is going to be this one here. And then the, and you're going to start to see that these are starting to appear in the effect. So we're going to go, we're going to, go to drop zone three. We're going to select this one and we're going to go to drop zone four and select the fourth image. And then we can do background. We can do this one there as well. And sweet. So all I got to do is click apply clip. And now if I go back and push play, and maybe if I turn that off. So if I push play, it's going to animate like that. Looks very simple. And the thing that you notice is that it's not where you maybe want the image to be placed. Uh, and we can change that. All right. So what you want to do is zoom in onto the timeline here and you're going to go, you're going to click on edit mode. So have that box checked so you can see what's happening and how many images there are, as you can see in the circle outlines and you can adjust these um, as well, but I'll show you that in just a second. So I'm going to show you the position and how that works. So the green is where the animation will start. This is where it's going to start to animate in and then it's going to stop at the yellow little line here call this the playhead, okay, or time head. And this is, going to, this is going to be the midpoint right here. And it shows you it's color coded in yellow. And right, that means that it's going to kind of stop. It's going to animate, but it's going to be very slow. It's going to run through until the second point, which is here. And that's going to be the end point where this actually starts, okay? So the midpoint is going to last from this point until this point, and then it's going to animate out to the red end point, if that makes sense. This is not where it's centered in the uh, frame of this video. So what I want to do is I want to go to the midpoint, which is right here, and I'm going to go to the X position, which controls left and right. And I'm going to just drag this to the left. Okay. And you can also have, you also have the on-screen controls. So you can like change the size of this. You can make that bigger. You can maybe move it a little bit. You can rotate this image here. This is where the in screen for the actual photo itself. So this is actually where you can control it right here. And you have the Z position. It's going to play through right like this looks really cool. Um, you can maybe even do something like from this point here in this point right there in time, you can change it now to have it go maybe this way. And once you're at this point, you're going to have the end point. So this is where you actually want to change either how fast or how slow this will appear. So we have start offset so we can change where this midpoint will actually end. So we can have it end all the way over to the left, which is as far as it can go, or you can go all the way to the end at hundred. So I'm going to go around here. You have the end offset, so you can also control this. So you can do something like this. So that's where it's going to completely end. So now if I go back and I push play, you're going to see it taking place. So it's going to play through until the the uh, midpoint here. And now it's going to kind of go to this image here. Okay. If I go back and push play, it's going to look like this. So I'm going to do camera lens, click on the drop zone, select an image. I'm going to select this one with the can click apply. And now if I shift Z, you can change the position of this. So go to the pan, go to Y, drag that up and push play it's gonna look like that now that is really cool you can also change the uh distortion controls and you can change the style of the lens so if i were to zoom out here like that you can change this so you can do like style one 
style too. Anyways, that's the effect that you can do with this. And again, there's so many possibilities with this plugin. If you guys want to give it a try, link will be in the description of this video. Again, please use the coupon code. And uh, until then, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.